cleaning woman is behind bars tonight in Carroll County after allegedly cleaning out her employer's home of a virtual arsenal of weapons. ABC 2 News Jeff Hager's on this story tonight with more on the theft of $100,000 worth of rifles and handguns. Jeff? Jamie, no, she's no Bonnie Parker. Not even Ma Barker, for that matter. But 37-year-old Amy Dolly is charged with pulling off a caper that would be the envy of famous female gangsters stealing dozens of high-priced weapons under the very nose of her alleged victim. I've done that since I was 11 years old. Of course, I grew up in Pennsylvania, so, uh, you know, Kentucky rifles, Pennsylvania rifles, that's how I grew up. Some may call them antiques, but for John Gratta, they're a passion. The New Windsor man has spent most of his adult life collecting black powder long rifles dating back to the early 1800s. I got them at auctions, I got them at uh, gun shows, and privately, wherever you know one would turn up. If it, especially the Huntington County and the Pens uh, Bedford County guns, what I like most, and the Maryland guns, of course. Over the last 10 months, though, the beloved rifles and some antique pistols began to disappear, 43 in all. And now 37-year-old Amy Dolly is charged with stealing $100,000 worth of firearms while working as a cleaning lady for the victim. Granda says the suspect's mother is a valued friend, but he had no idea in giving her a job, helping him out cleaning his home and some vintage Corvettes that he works on, that he would be opening the door to a thief yeah. of six-figure proportions. I had some warning, yeah. Some people told me to be careful, but till you know, to find out firsthand, you never know. Detectives have since tracked the suspect's purchases to pawn shops in Pennsylvania and Maryland, along with witness testimony that she was selling them out of her Westminster home. For his part, Grata is frustrated by the thefts themselves, by the fact that he let his insurance coverage for them lapse months before they began to disappear, and by the lack of perceived effort by police to help him get them back. Approximately 28 were taken. I got two back. I know of nine more that I, I was hoping to get some police help to get them recovered. But that hasn't happened yet. Now, in their defense, investigators say the victim has provided no pictures, no bills of sale, and didn't mark the rifles in a way that identifies them as his property. It also may make it difficult to place an accurate value on them when the case ultimately goes to court.